I think my anger has been suppressed since I was 15 because even when that happened, I stayed with the guy. It was my ex-boyfriend at the time. I stayed with him and I didn't fight back. I didn't voice my opinion, I didn't voice how mad I was. Even when we were at the abortion clinic, he said, can I go off and smoke up with my boys? I'm like, I just said, okay. But I was hurt. I was angry. I was frustrated. And oh, along the way, there were a lot of things that happened in the States where I didn't express my anger because when you're an immigrant, you always feel like I can't kind of be how I, I can't be myself entirely because if something happens, if I get arrested, then it's not going to be good. You know, and even in Dubai, for example, when I lived in Dubai, same shit. You can't really like lose your shit because if you say the wrong thing to the wrong person, you're going to be in prison. And I do not want to be in prison there. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of this has became more so as a survival mechanism to protect your survivorhood in certain things, in certain um, circumstances. But if we're talking about like, oh, you know what? I had a really shit day today because this colleague was being so rude to me. Okay. Honor this frustration, honor this anger, because no one's going to get hurt from this, please. But don't dwell on it because once you let it out, once you release it, it's gone. I think it takes a lot more energy to hold in frustration and anger. And because it takes in so much energy, we end up feeling tired. We end up totally. feeling logic. Yeah. And the more it festers, the more it transforms into something else. Like, I think hate is a strong word. And for someone to say, I hate someone, I would actually take it as something has happened along the way for a long time for you to get to that stage. 